Hello, it's Linda here at Papercraft with Crafty and today I've got this project for you which is this card which I shared on my blog yesterday. Um, it did receive a lot of lovely comments so thank you very much um, but one lady in particular has said how disappointed she was when she realised that the blog, the blog didn't carry an accompanying video tutorial because she was interested in how I managed to um, achieve this little darling chappy here, this little hummingbird. Um, my blog explained that it was a four stage stamped image um, and so I thought I would put a little video together because I was able to achieve this um, with some real precision stamping um, by using my new Misty tool. Um, I got this round about Christmas um, and when I made this card yesterday it was the first time I'd actually used it but it really really does work ever so well when you're doing um, step stamping so if you've got a, an image that's made up of three separate parts it's, e it's excellent for that but this one is actually made up of four um, so I'm going to get on and show you how to put together one of these cards um, and how to use the Misty. Okay, so you're going to need a piece of cardstock. Um, my card fits a C6 envelope. Okay, and the cardstock I'm using, this is in Soft Sky, and it measures eight and three quarter inches by, oops, lost all my measurements, six and one eighth of an inch. And on the long side, you just want to make your score line at four and three eighths of an inch. Okay, so that's your base layer. So now taking the Misty, see if I can fit it in here, it's not very easy the way I've got my tripod set up. So I'm just going to adjust the camera. Okay so when you receive the Misty it comes, it comes like this um, and you have to put this protective um, covering over the front of it so I've already gone ahead and I've done mine um, and then when you open it you'll find there's like a foam pad in here now you use the foam pad when you're using photopolymer stamps okay and if you're using um, clear mount stamps then you don't use a foam pad at all you just work on this base here um, mine came with one magnet I bought mine from a Facebook page actually here in the UK. Um, my magnet's stuck, they're so strong these magnets. Um, I'm going to buy another one because I actually think I would benefit from having two. Uh, it just became apparent when I was working on this card yesterday and using new photopolymer stamps that when I was um, lifting back the polymer off of the card it was dragging it slightly and although I had it weighed down by this really heavy duty magnet I actually think that I would have benefited from two so I'm going to look at purchasing another one of those. Okay so for the card I'm just going to um, let me see now how am I going to do my card yeah I'm going to pop my card here like this pop my magnet down and the background stamp that I used is actually sadly retired now so you can only pick these up on places like eBay and and whatnot and it is en français um, I do actually get rid of most of my retired stamps and um, things when they when they do retire but I absolutely love this background stamp and I'm never parting with this one so just making sure now I've got the image the right way up I'm going to pop my stamp round about there like that because I only want to stamp on this side of the card so I'm just going to pop that on the edge there like that move my magnet slightly make sure that my card is straight and so as this is a foam back stamp all you need to do is pick it up like that 
And I'm going to take my black versifying ink pad and ink up my image. So plenty on there. And then you simply bring it over and there you have your words. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do is work on the little hummingbird itself. So let me just, I'm going to grab these wipes that I'm using are alcohol free. Um, so you, when you're using a cleaner on these um, with the mister, you have to use something that is alcohol free. Um, I have got the recommended cleaner on order now. Just take the excess off of here so I don't get filthy hands. And I should put that in my stamp and scrub and give it a good old clean now. Okay, so this is the set that this beautiful hummingbird image comes from, and it's a new set which is called perfect picture and this is all this is all um, really aimed at step stamping so you've got three step stamping here with this beautiful image of a rose and then you've got a double step here um, two starfish and then you've got triple steps here with this little leaf which you could obviously decorate around your stamped roses and then with the hummingbird, you've actually got four steps. So you've got this image, this little one here, this one and that. Okay, so it's built up in a series of images. It comes in a pack like this. And to use these as the photopolymer photo stamps, you do need to put your foam pad in the misty. Okay, so what you do is you take, let me just get these off of here, they're all stuck. The images are numbered up for you. So um, let me just see now. This is number one, this is number two. No, this is number two, this is number three, and this one here, the final one with the most detail on, is number four. So starting off with image number one, and taking my little piece of cardstock here. Now this piece of cardstock measures two and seven eighths by four. So I'm just going to pop that down here, and I'm going to place my hummingbird where I want it, which is round about there like that and I'm going to pick it up with my misty and I'm using the palest shade for the base which is soft sky so let's put some colour on there and lay that down okay Then I'm going to take the next image, which is this tiny little piece here, which is really quite easy to lose because I have lost it once already. I'm covered in black ink at the moment. Um, and what you want to do is position that like so. And I'm going to pick that up. And this time I'm using Pool Party, which is a slightly darker shade than Soft Sky. And I'm going to pop that down. And I'm going to add a, a tad more, just to make it a bit deeper in colour. Okay. And then remove that. Now I'm at 
adding the third image. So I'm just going to position this so that I've got everything positioned correctly over the feathers on the tail and also on the wings and here around the face like that and um, what's come away try again let's take my time okay I'm gonna pick that up and I'm staying with the pool party I'm just going to add the definition that comes with this third stamp And I'm going to add a little bit more just to make the colour again just a little shade deeper. And you see it just went down beautifully on the image I'd already stamped. Okay so just ready now to add the final image of the bird. And this is a very detailed one. So I'm really, oops, really studying the outline beneath and making sure but I have it lined up really well. And I'm going to pick that up. And I'm going to add some Versafine Black ink to this image to really give the bird some definition. Okay, and there we have him. As you can see, he's really beautiful. It's a lovely, it's a stunning image. Um, and now what I'm going to do is just add a few leafy details. So for that, just remove this. Don't need this foam pad because I'm going to be using this image here hopeful thoughts I'm using the vine um, but this is a clear mount stamp so I'm going to take my bird and pop him back in here pop this down now I want to add some leafy detail just above the bird here so what I'm going to do is pick this up and I can see that I'm only going to need to ink this part of the leafy image so using black again Versafine just going to do that and then I do want to add some more down here so again, I'm going to I'm going to roughly go like that. So when I ink up, whoops, when I ink up, I know I'm only going to want to sort of ink round about there. So I won't be inking up the whole of the image. And that's just going to pop down there like that. Okay, and that's my bird done now, ready to just have the next stage done, which is adding like a nice um, dry embossed edge to give it like a little frame. So, 
There's my little stamped up birdie. I'm now going to pop this into my Simply Scoreboard. I'm just going to simply put the edge right on one of these grooves and using the thickest end of my stylus, I'm just going to score. I'm going to do that all of the way around. Okay, so that's put like a really nice little edge all the way around and I did exactly the same piece on a bit that I'm going to layer the bird on um, this black piece of cardstock measures four and three eighths by three and an eighth and I'm just going to adhere my image to that with some double sided tape. Okay, so I've got a final layer to add to that piece now, and for that, I've got here a piece of cardstock which is four and three eighths by one and a half inches, and I also have a pretty decorative punch. And I'm just going to punch out. A nice border. Which I'm just going to adhere to the cardstock so that it looks like that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've stuck that now. And now what I'm going to do Let's get this adhered to the card itself. So just going to remove the tape I put on the back. And I'll just lay that down like that onto my card and then all I'm going to do now is finish up with making a pretty decorative tag like this one. For that you need a piece of, let's see what did I write down, this is two inches by three inches this little piece of card so it fits perfectly into the scallop tag topper punch and I'm just going to punch that Being stubborn, it's not really like that. <laughs> okay, um, and it's a little bit wide as you can see, so I'm just going to trim it down using my paper trimmer. So here's the paper trimmer, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my card. I'm just going to take this little scallop off here. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. So we're left with something a little bit slimmer, like that. I'm just going to round off the corners. So I've got here my little corner punch. I'm just going to pop my tag in like that and this side like that. I've got nicely rounded corners now. And then for this pretty lacy detail here I've got another stamp set which is called Grateful Bunch and that is this lacy motif here.
So I'll just pop that on my acrylic block. I'm just going to lay some colour down. I'm literally just going to go along the, the edge here, like that. Okay. And then, finally, I'm going to bring the Misty back in. Because I just want to pop a little sentiment on here. So put my foam pad in and work out where I want my sentiment. And again, the sentiment comes from the um, set that I used for the hummingbird. And I just think it's appropriate for a note card. And it's this one here that says just a note. So I'm going to pop it on here, see where I want it, get it as straight as I want it. I think that looks about right. I'm going to pick that up and just ink it up. And then bring that down. That's perfect. So that's almost done now. So I just want a nice little piece of decorative ribbon to thread through the um, the tag. Only need a little bit. Pop that through the front. Bring this through. Just straighten it up a little. And I have found that I like to put a little glue dot on the inside of this just to keep it securely in place. So I'm just going to put Glue dot just behind here. To hold my ribbons in place. And then I just remove any excess that I don't want. And I have a dimensional or two. I'm going to pop just here and here. And that's just going to sit angled round about there. As just a little decorative touch, you could punch yourself out a heart. Um, this is actually a little wooden veneer heart um, which I have dyed black using my memento ink, just left it to dry for some time now because I just like to see a little bit of texture in the card and that came with, with this little accessory pack here which is called the Love Blossoms Embellishment Kit so you get a little series of hearts in there and I decided that I would dye one black so just going to take that now so I just put some strong double-sided tape on the back of this because it doesn't seem to stick with glue dots for some reason. I'm just going to pop that down like that and then I'm going to finish off by adding a little pearl embellishment round about there and that is my card complete with beautiful hummingbird. Um, I do hope you enjoy the tutorial um, I do hope that um, you were impressed with the Misty, as I am. Um, it's a great tool now for me, and I know I'm going to be using it an awful lot more. I would say that they are a very good investment. Um, I think they are quite expensive. I did buy mine, like I say, on Facebook, and I did pay about 50 and I think they're on Amazon for about 49 99 So anyway, that's my top tip. Invest in a Misty. 
and then invest in all these beautiful stamp sets because um, I do think that this is a lovely card. Um, it was very well received when I put it up yesterday. So thank you for watching this tutorial today. I will be adding this onto my blog and uh, I will be back with another project for you shortly. Goodbye.